Today is a very special day for me and for this place, a place that has always been, since it was first created, a sort of home to us. We like to think that these new beginnings reconnect Lingotto with its original identity, take it back to where it all started. And as we go full circle, we find all the elements of history, tradition, and innovation in a new, more inclusive, and more environmentally conscious vision of our world. Hello, everyone. Casa Cinquecento is much more than just a car museum. Uh, we are not just talking uh, about a car, we are talking about culture and history. We are talking about the country and the city. But I promise, tonight will not be an exercise in nostalgia. No, tonight will be about taking our DNA forward, planting the seeds of our future. Casa Cinquecento is here to help our customers realize that the car they drive is not only made in Italy, but made of Italy. And throughout, throughout the whole space, you'll notice how Italian creativity can make sustainability beautiful. Everything in Casa Cinquecento reduces, recycles and reuses. Look, there's something very symbolic about turning the roof of a factory into a garden in the sky. First, you have a place of old pollution that becomes a breathing space for our home city. Then you have a very private, not to say secret, test track that is now open to everyone. And by the way, what matters here is not just a garden. That's very important. It's a combination of garden and track because it shows how mobility and nature can work hand in hand. What we promote here is more than just a car. It's care, it's community, it's culture. And it comes with a conviction. It's only green when it's green for all. This is our DNA. Shifting the paradigm of sustainability for the few to sustainability for all. So from October, this place uh, will be open to everyone. And here is uh, the key, our mayor, Chiara Pendino. Your messages are the messages of the city, so we just want to thank you. Thank you, Chiara. This is yours. So now, let's move on to the last chapter of the evening. Look, colors are incredibly important for 500. And actually, when we launched the new electric model, people noticed that an old favorite was missing, red. And look, there was a reason for it. Our whole palette is inspired by nature. So you have earth with all a palette of earthy colors. You have air, you have water. But right, we did not have fire. But luckily, a year ago or so, I met someone. Someone who gives a different meaning to red, a more positive, more ethical meaning. So I'm sure that most of you have heard about the red organization. They work to protect people from AIDS and now also from COVID. And I'm incredibly proud to launch the first red car. A red paint that is not just a color, but is a message. The message is ethics and aesthetics going hand in hand. You know, it's red like in reduce, reduce emissions, reduce pollution, reduce health emergencies. It's about a burning ambition protecting both planet and people. So here is the 500 Red, the first fruit of the new partnership between Red and Fiat. Please welcome the founder of Red, our dear friend Bono. So let's get into Red. You created Red to bring companies like ours into the fights uh, into the fights, AIDS, pandemics. So can you remind us why uh, you did it and perhaps tell us about the journey and the results? It is extraordinary to be on top of this 
sublime and storied building, uh, Garden of the Future. But I want you to know, and this is not a professional compliment, I, I love uh, this company. Uh, my father drove a Fiat. My first car was a Fiat. My next car will be this Fiat. Um, it's not a professional company. I, I love the stories. I love the history of this great company. And yeah, it's very romantic for, for me, this sexy, smart tangle of ideas and innovation that we call the Cinque Cento. This was one last thought. Fiat today is the number one volume brand of Stellantis, with already one million cars sold so far in 2021. You see, we have grown strong by interpreting people's real needs wherever they are. And now we do the same with electric cars. So you see, Fiat is a little bit like the plants around us. It still has an enormous potential for growth. And this is what we are doing here tonight, planting the seeds of our future. And our growth as a global brand will be fueled by two things, respect for the planet and caring for our roots. Lingotto, reaffirms its original vocation to innovate and amaze and become a symbol of a city committed to build a sustainable future. Torino is a city where the streets do have names. Not only do they celebrate the achievements of the past, they also push us to always be up to the task and be ambitious. Thank you very much. <laughs>